morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm uh, Dr. Andrew Brown. I'm a lecturer in the School of Baths and Physics at <laughs> Queen's. And these are my two daughters. What's your name? Bethany. What's your name? Jessica. Uh, and today we're going to show you an activity for which you will need some long, thin strips of paper. So you can just cut these out of a normal piece of A4 paper. They're about two centimetres across. Um, and if you're a little bit little for that, you can get a grown up to cut these out for you. That's what I did. Um, you'll need some sellotape and some scissors. Show them your scissors. Where's my scissors? Yeah, your scissors are over there. Uh, and if you're nice and artistic, like these two girls are, you're going to need your colour and pencils and pens and things like that as well. So, the first thing you want to do before I show you what we're going to do with this is to decorate your bit of paper. So I'm going to give a bit of paper each to the girls. In fact, two, bit, two bits each. We're going to leave them to decorate them and then we'll come back and we'll show you what we're going to do with these bits of paper. So Bethany's finished colouring hers in. Hold it up, Beth, so they can see. We've got nice hearts and stripes on one side. Bring it over here. That's it. Hearts and stripes on one side. And on the other side, we've got a cool design uh, with lines and circles and squares. Um, so Bethany, while Jess is finishing off hers, how many sides does a square have? Uh, four. Very good. What about a triangle? Three. Do you know what you call a, 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 a shape which has five sides on it? Uh, Do you know, Jessica? No. No, that shape's called a pentagon. And one of the things we're going to do with our uh, bits of paper is I'm going to show you how to make a perfect pentagon. So a pentagon has five sides, right? So that's a shape that you could draw on a piece of paper. And it's a shape that I'm gonna show you how to make on this bit of paper. But this bit of paper, how many sides does this bit of paper have? Uh, four. Four, it's like a big long rectangle, isn't it? Yeah. So we can think of it as having four sides um, and two faces, okay? So it's got one face here on this side. <laughs> and one face here on the other side. So you've drawn two faces on your bit of paper. So it's got four sides, like the edges around here, and it's got two faces, the one with the hearts on it and the one with the line on it, yeah? Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to turn this bit of paper into a shape which has just one face. So instead of it being uh, one side with hearts and the other side with a line, it's gonna just be one side all together. Now, you might think that's a bit strange, but if we connect it together like this into a loop, so a little bit like a bracelet, yeah? And it's still got two faces, doesn't it? It's still got two sides, one inside and one outside, doesn't it? You're gonna put it on your wrist like that? Very nice. One inside and one outside, so it's still got two faces, but with a little bit of a twist, we can turn it into a shape with just one face and it's got some really interesting properties. So when Jessica's finished doing hers, I'm going to show you how to do that all together. So Jessica's finished colouring hers in now, hold it up. She's gone for an all over green with some red hearts on there, absolutely gorgeous. And on the other side, we've just left it blank, haven't we Jess? Yeah. Because we ran out of time, but that's okay. So girls, I'm going to show you how to make a cool shape using your bits of paper. So I want you to hold them up for me and I'm going to show you using this blank bit right here. So what you want to do is fold it over so you make like a little bracelet shape. Okay, can you do that? Just roll it round. You, you do it with your coloured one, Jess. Yeah. And um, do you see the way at the end I've sort of pinched the two bits together? What, what, you, what I want you to do is take one bit of it and sort of twist it over like that. Do you see what I did? So take it and just twist it like that. Very good. And then pinch it together the same way. You got it, Jess? Very good. So just hold it there, Beth. And you take yours and twist it over like that. Very good. And then, okay, so hold it like that. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do is take a little bit of sellotape. So I can give a bit of sellotape and help you uh, stick that together at the end. Okay, very good. So that's yours. And definitely stick yours. Okay. Are these just for Yeah. Okay, so this shape is what's called a Mobius band or a Mobius strip, okay? So I'm gonna make one as well, so just so I can show you some things about it. Okay, so you fold it over into a brace like that and then you just twist it over one end and then I can stick mine with a cell tape as well. So 
Remember before we were talking about how many sides this shape has, or how many faces it has, and we were talking about um, how the square has two faces, it's like a coin, it has heads and tails. This shape is very special because it only actually has one side. Now you might think, how is that possible? Because the bit of paper has two sides. But what we can do is we can take a pen, so this is red, which is Beth and Jess's favorite color, and we can start drawing on our Mobius strip. Okay, so I'm gonna take my pen and just start drawing a line on it like this. And what we'll see is that when we go the whole way around, okay, I'm just gonna keep drawing, keep drawing, keep drawing. Oh, yeah, keep going. And when we do that, we actually draw on all of the band is, is covered. Okay, so if I was actually, instead of just drawing a line, if I was coloring it in, if I just went round that once and didn't lift off the pen, I would actually color in the entire Mobius strip. So you can try that for yourself. You can color in, um, you know, you'd take your pen and color in, and without lifting the pen off, you just go round and round and round and round and round, you actually cover the whole thing. So it's only actually got one side. Now, that's a little bit difficult to see in a video, so you should do it for yourself and make it for yourself to see. But there's some more cool stuff that we can do with this, okay? So I'm not gonna ask you girls to cut yours up, but what we can do is let's just make a normal loop like that, okay? So a normal one. You're gonna, you're gonna do this, Jess? You're gonna make, make a normal loop with your little blank bit there? Uh, okay. I wanna like color it in. Well, we can color this, you can color in another one later on, okay? There you go, and you've got one, Beth. All right, and Beth, you do one with the twist in it, like you just did, okay? But how many color in the whole one? Don't worry, we'll color in a blank one later on and make another one for you, make it a big space Okay, so we've got one normal loop, Jessica's got the normal loop, and one special loop, this Mobius loop, Bethany's got that. So Jessica, I'm gonna ask you a question. If I take my scissors, okay, and cut, so if I make a little cut in there and cut the whole way around, what will happen to my loop? What will, what will, what will I get in the end? What do you think? A pentagon. You think it'll become a pentagon? No, we'll get onto that one afterwards. Um, if I, oh, don't worry. I'll make another one afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to take my, take my scissors. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut the whole way around. Okay, so when I do that, what I make, let me see, is, what's it going to do, Beth? Two, two bracelets. Two bracelets, that's absolutely right. So look, I've taken my scissors and I've cut it and I've made two bracelets, one for each twin. Hmm. There you go, right? Which leaves me with this one, and I'm going to do the same thing. So if I take my scissors and I cut, so what I'm doing is I'm just making a little cut in the middle, and then I'm going to cut the whole way around. What do you think is going to happen to this one? Am I going to make two again? Yeah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll make two and then I can share it between me. So let's cut it the whole way around. Keep going until we get to the very end. You ready for your two bracelets? Whoa. That's not two bracelets though, is it? It's just one big loop. In fact, what I've made is a Mobius loop, but instead of one twist, it's now got two twists in it. Okay, and you could keep trying this. You could cut it again, and I imagine it would make a, an even more twisty loop. I imagine if you did it like that, it would make an eight. That's right. You can put it together, and it makes an eight. And also, you could use that as a necklace, couldn't you, or a headband for daddy? <laughs> so that's the first thing we can do with our bits of paper. We can make these cool Mobius loops, and I'm going to show you an even cooler <laughs> thing we can do with two Mobius loops uh, in in a little while. But the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn these uh, bits of paper into a perfect pentagon. I'm gonna show you how to make a perfect pentagon. So you girls take yours there. But are you gonna leave one for me? Yes, we're gonna make lots more later on. Okay, so we're making a square is really easy, isn't it? Because you could just we could just take our scissors and cut off a little bit and that'll make a square. And we could make a triangle really easily just by cutting off a corner, but making a pentagon is really hard. So I'm gonna show you how you can make a pentagon and impress on your friends. So keep your scissors, we're gonna need those in a second. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, your bit of paper girls and you're gonna make a shape like this. Can you try that? Yeah, like that. Good, okay. 
Then what you want to do, Beth, is take that top loop there. Don't cut it yet, Jess. Yes. You want to make a pentacle? Yes. Okay, so take your paper and make it into a shape like that. No, don't, no, don't, don't need cut scissors. it. You don't need scissors just yet, darling. So take your bit of paper and fold it over like that, like Bethany's got. <laughs> you got it? Very good. So turn it over so you've got it the same way around. We'll put that bit over there. Okay, so then take this bit. See this bit here? And I want you to fold it down through the hole and pull it through. Can you do that? I'll have to use it. Okay, so you fold it down through the hole and pull it. So if you if you can tie your shoelaces, it's exactly like tying your shoelaces. So good, pull it through, pull both ends. Very good. Don't pull it too tight. Don't pull it too tight. Okay. So pull it so that the paper doesn't bend. Okay. And you, maybe you can already start to see. We've made it into a shape. It looks a little bit like a, like a bow or an aeroplane or something like that. Okay. And then what you want to do is once you've pulled it all the way through, is just flatten down the edges. So just flatten where it's where it's sort of rounded there. Flatten down the edges. I'll do mine. I'll pull it through like that. And when you do that, well, mine isn't very good because I rushed it. Then you can take your scissors and just cut off the wee end bits. You see, very good. Well done. That's it, let's flatten that bit. Okay, and then cut off that, that flap on that side too. You turn it around so you don't cut your finger off. <laughs> nope. Yeah. And how many sides does that shape have now? One, two, three, four, five. Five. So that is a pentagon. And I said we didn't care about whether it was useful. You could, if you wanted to, use this to cut up a pizza into five equal pieces. Or a cake, if you had a cake. <coughs> put it in the middle and draw lines out four points. But if you do it, if you do it perfectly and you have a perfect piece of paper, um, that's cut out really straight, then you can make an absolutely perfect regular pentagon with five sides like that. So Jessica's going to take care of her little sister. Bethany's here to help me finish off the video. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take two Mobius strips like we made earlier on, so that's the loop with the twist, and we're going to stick them together. Okay, so all I've done is I've sort of put them across each other like that, and I've stuck them with some sellotape. Now importantly, these two Mobius strips have to twist the opposite way. So in one of them, I made a loop and I twisted that way. And in the other one, I made a loop and I twisted that way. So the opposite way. And I've something together in the middle like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scissors and cut along the middle, just like we did earlier on when we made the big, the big long loop like that. So what shape do you think this one's gonna make, Bethany? Uh, I don't know. No? Well, let's find out. So I'm gonna take my scissors, make a little cut in there, and just cut the whole way along. Same thing with this one. Oh, and I'm gonna just need a little bit of extra style tape because that one's coming off. What are you colour in the in now, Beth? Um, what are you colouring in now? Yeah. Just making some more hearts. Are you ready to see what this looks like? Yeah. So I've cut along my two Mobius bands. And look. I what is it? Have to do a little bit of work to Unstick it. Oh. What shape is that? Look. What shape has it made? Heart. It's actually made two hearts stuck together. Now this one's a bit twisted up, so it's hard to see. But if you do it right and everything's stuck together in the right way, it makes two hearts that are locked together. Like, like I'm that. drawing one. Just like mommy and daddy. Yeah, show them your heart. So there you go, there's some fun you can have just with some bits of paper um, and of course if you decorate these first then you get some nice colourful hearts at the end or some nice colourful pentagons or as the girls have done some nice Mobius strips uh, and bracelets and things. So have fun playing with uh, bits of paper, it's all maths, it's all fun, uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy the maths while you can have. Nice heart Beth, say bye bye.